shirt! Your shirt! Death to America! Who did that? Why you think it flagged? No! Welcome to modern day America. Unfortunately, this is becoming the new normal in our modern day society. This was seen at a pro-Palestine protest in New York City just today, the time of recording this. The time you're seeing it might be the day after that, but it just happened. In fact, this past weekend, pro-Palestine protesters all got together and organized a mass protest. I'm sure you've seen or heard about this on the news across the entire nation. Some of these protests include lighting flags on fire, like we saw in that first clip, enchanting death to America, which I don't support under any circumstance, and neither should you or any American citizen. Now, there's a time and a place to say, if you don't like America, then you should get out. And sometimes I say it to be a little hyperbolic. In this instance, no hyperbole, okay? I'm not exaggerating anything here. If you chant death to America, you should probably be arrested and you should get your ass out of America. Now, seriously, it is sickening. It is genuinely heartbreaking. That is a call to terrorism is what that is. Do you really want to live in a country where the protesters for Palestine are calling for a death to America? Genuinely, let, why don't you let me know in the comments, do you want to live in that world? Me personally, it sickens me to my stomach. You know, there is a point where protesting goes too far. And saying that and burning the flag, that's taking it too far. It is obviously taking that too far. That person needs to get taken out of America as soon as possible, thrown in jail, whatever, get them out of here. These protesters also organized all on the same day, the shutting down of airports like O'Hare Airport. Here's the clip from Chicago O'Hare Airport where they're blocking off the street, the road so they can get to the airport so people are carrying their luggage to the airport. I do not support this level of extreme protesting. All of these people have flights to get to. All of these people have places to be. And look, I understand that you might be passionate about your cause, but go protest the people that will actually be able to fix your problem, okay? The people going to O'Hare Airport, they're not going to fix your problem. Here's this next clip in Seattle. This is for SeaTac Airport near Seattle. Same thing happening here. They're preventing cars from entering. Flags waving people on cars, causing a ruckus, inconveniencing the lives of many people. Again... I'm not supportive of this. Go protest in front of your local congressman. Go protest in front of federal elected officials. Everyday citizens, you're making their lives worse than it already is in America. We have a million problems we need to solve. And sitting in traffic, you're in, what you're really doing is, is these people are going to be less inclined to support you now. You might not want to hear that, but that's the blatant truth, okay? You inconvenience someone's life like this with your stance, People are less inclined to want to support you and your stance because now they associate their inconvenience with you. Fortunately, in places like Florida, God bless you, Florida, they just get the people out of the streets. Look, they just pick them up and carry them. No force, just pick them up and carry. No, no aggression here. Pretty basic stuff. Get out of the way. This is the right way to handle this situation. Florida, you're a beacon of hope for all of America. And look at them. Acted, a, make it a fool out of themselves, causing a scene on the ground. Oh, like look, they're literally just being lightly carried and placed onto the ground. They're exaggerating. And last but not least, well, not last, there's more, but I'm not going to sit here all day and make you watch hundreds of hours of protesting clips. This one's the Golden Gate Bridge that was shut down uh, both ways. And you can see here, just blocking it all off. One of these people are eventually going to get shot or killed in some capacity, completely run over, which has happened before. I don't think they've been killed, though, but they've been... Vehicles have run into them, for sure. Let me just reiterate something. I 100% support your ability to peacefully protest, but when you're stopping traffic for hours on end, making people miss flights, that I'm not okay with. And the weather's finally starting to get nice, especially in the colder areas. We're going to see a lot more protests this summer, especially when the DNC, the Democratic National Convention, 
comes to Chicago. I know because I live in the area. I've been hearing rumblings and whispers of a lot of planned protests surrounding the DNC coming to town. So this is only the very beginning. So buckle up for a very long summer of pro-Palestine protests. What are your thoughts on all of this? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.